changing the KM thermocouple. Undo the screws down the side of the red box. They're always on the left. Swing the box open. Inside you'll see that's the thermocouple wire. That's the thermocouple block. You just pull the little spade connectors off the terminal block. And then just unscrew the two screws holding the thermocouple block in place. You should then be able to just pull the thermocouple out. All you need to do then, loosen the two screws holding the thermocouple in place, then the thermocouple will just slide out. Get your new thermocouple. When it's applied, because this is the UK model, the green is positive, the white is negative. So the green, can you see the positive and negative there? So the green fits in the back. You'll see it come through. And then just tighten those screws up till they're tight, but not too tight. So then if you look at it that way, the green is positive, going to the yellow wire. And on the end, you've got a positive on the yellow wire there. Put the thermocouple back in place. So that just slides gently in. Two screws. Just screws that back into place. Now you need to connect this back onto the terminal strip. Sometimes with firing and how old your kiln is, this label might fall off. All you've got to know is that the yellow wire is positive. So that goes on the positive terminal at the bottom, which is the top one. That just slides onto there and push on. So it's a nice fit. Exactly the same with the red wire. Push it until it goes right the way up and then just do a last check. So you've got red wire, which is where your white connector is. And you've got your yellow wire with your green connector at the back. Your yellow wire is at the top, which is positive, And your red wire is at the bottom, which is negative. And then all you need to do, back in the box. And now you're ready for firing again. 